Hey, let me give you a little sheet so that way you know how to set up your sheet for what you're trying to achieve. Um, the best mirror, I guess, of what you are trying to achieve would be the uh, eight ball game that I have in my Fun and Games app. And so to set that up, all I had to do was create the text here, and then I had to give each of those text a count, a number here, one through however many texts that I have. Um, so I can see this being your restaurants, and then you're assigning each restaurant a number one through the amount of restaurants that you have. Okay. Now, once you have that set up, uh, you're going to create your form response sheet. So mine is under my eight ball responses here. And this is a sheet that's receiving the form data that users are submitting. Let me hide my email addresses here. All right, so then every time a user submits a new requ uh, response for the eight ball, um, what happens is if it logs their email, it logs what question they were asking, which for you, would, you can ignore this question column. Uh, but then it's also going to record this value that's in here. Okay. Now you'll see that these numbers in this value are static, whereas this column is random based upon this formula that I have up here in the header, uh, where it's um, a ran between formula between 1 and 10. And I've chosen the static number 10 because I know that's how many 8-ball text that I had. Uh, if your number is going to be dynamic, meaning if you're going to continually add more restaurants to that list, and you don't want to have to change this number manually every time to match how many restaurants you have, uh, you'd have to replace this number 10 with some sort of count formula that's going to count down how many restaurants you have. All right, so that being said, you'll notice that every time I change this uh, spreadsheet, um, this random number gets changed as well. So for example, here, if I just put in some um, random information here, I just put in some garbage information, you see that every time I enter in, or every time the spreadsheet gets changed, that random number changes as well. Okay. So the tricky part of this is I can't just give this value here. I can't do some sort of VLOOKUP or relation on this number because every time a new user goes to submit the form to find a new restaurant, um, then other users will see their number. And so other users will continually seeing fluctuating restaurants in there because this number keeps changing. So what you have to do is take a snapshot of that number um, and add it to the spreadsheet as well. So um, because this is in its own column right here, right? What I do is in my app for my eight ball, okay, when they go to fill out the form, um, I'm capturing their question, as you saw, the timestamp and the email. And I'm also capturing that column. This column here is that random number column. So it's capturing whatever random number it currently is between one and 10, and it's capturing it instead to that value column. So it's capturing whatever random number is currently here to this value column. And because this value column doesn't have any formulas associated to it, this column will always be static. And I'm then going to do a, either a VLOOKUP or a relation based on this number here, not this number. So how I did that in Glide was in my data editor for the 8-ball response. Okay, here's my random number. Here's the value. Right, And so here I did a relation between this value and the eight ball responses. Okay. So where the value matches the eight ball value, that one through 10 number, and it doesn't need to be multiple because I only have each number once. Okay, And then after that, I have a lookup then of the eight ball saying based on this relation. So yours would be then, you know, restaurant name or something like that. And then, then you could uh, output the restaurant name. And then if you have a list of uh, the locations and the phone numbers and yada, 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 you can do, con you can do uh, uh, multiple lookups with all that information as well based off of this one number. And uh, then you can present that information to your user in the form of a map or however else you'd like. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Hope this helped. Bye.